is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we do have some brand new action figure news for you guys we have some aew unrivaled action figure news you guys know that a few days back we did get fan fest for double or nothing and we got a bunch of new reveals right we got a ton of new wwe action figure not wwe you jackass we had a bunch of aew action figure reveals you know we got unmatched series one and two and three and unrivaled collection series seven and eight and a lot of stuff like we actually got to see way more things than I thought we would actually see when it came to FanFest and I was actually pleasantly surprised at what we actually got to see. But yesterday actually guys, Ringside Collectibles actually posted up some epic images that I want to talk about because we actually got some figures revealed to us that we only got to see the renders of and I don't think they've showcased all of them just yet but we did get some images of them that I'm guessing they took at Double or Nothing FanFest. You know I'm guessing they were just right there and they could just take the photos and that was it. So let's just go ahead and get into it. I think this could be epic. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now starting off first guys, we do have the ringside exclusive Aubrey Edwards figure that will be included with the AEW authentic scale ring. First thing I'm noticing about this figure is that I think it's a pretty solid head sculpt. I like the referee shirt. I am uh, a little bit worried there. I hope that there is bicep swivel. It looks like there's bicep swivel, but you know, you can never really tell. It does look like she is going to have it again right there at the cuff. But you never really know. I am interested to see how much articulation she has, how you know how she scales with the other figures and everything like that. But I think it definitely looks like Aubrey Edwards. I like that, you know, you got the referee shirt there. One thing that kind of, I don't know, it's kind of iffy. I kind of want one or two of them, you know, because I want one that has the AEW logo on it. But I also want one that, you know, you could paint over it and give us just a straight up, you know, you know, referee shirt. You know, just a plain referee shirt. Or, you know, we could put an MDT logo on there if I wanted her to put in, you know, my match matches or other people's matches or maybe you could just paint over it in black and then slap a decal over it or something I don't know that completely we'll have to see about that but one thing that's really nice is she's gonna have the one count the two count and she does have the you know slap the mat hands and stuff so you get a bunch of different variations with your Aubrey Edwards figure but I like the sculpts we got going on the legs look good you got the thigh cut it does look like she's going to have good articulation on this, and it is an AEW figure. It'll have ball joints, double jointed arms. It actually looks like a figure that's going to pose around really well, so that will be really fun to see. But Aubrey Edwards, again, I don't know how she's going to sell compared with the ring and all that stuff, but Aubrey Edwards is here, and, you know, I, I want to know what you guys think of that down below. But it is really cool to see an Aubrey Edwards figure because of, you know, just having a referee figure for real. Like, that's just awesome. But not only did we get that, guys, but we also got a few figures out of Unmatched Series 1. You guys know that Kenny Omega's also in this set and the LJN Cody, but the first figure we're going to look at is Britt Baker. Look at this Britt Baker. Now, one thing I did not know, I did not know we were getting a Pittsburgh Steelers Britt Baker. Apparently, that is the Chase version, so there's going to be Chase versions in the Unmatched series as well, which I did not know, but that's awesome. I'm really glad there will be Chase versions in our Unmatched series. Makes them really fun to collect, you know. These figures look amazing. I think the Britt Baker figures look great. The head sculpts are phenomenal, um, but I did not know we were getting Pittsburgh Steelers gear Britt Baker, and since that is going to be the chase, I think. That is sick AF, man. That is awesome. I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, so seeing that, I absolutely have to track that down. I think that will be great. But the Britt Baker head sculpt is fantastic. Again, I want to see what she can do in these uh, in these pick feds, man. You know, running around with it. maybe Adam Cole or maybe, I don't know. I, I'm just really excited to see what people can come up with. But I like her boot mold. The figure just looks really good. It looks just like her and everything, so that will be really nice to see. And I wish that we could get like an actual off lab coat, probably down the line we'll probably get something like that but I still like it double jointed arms but the Pittsburgh Steelers gear is sick AF that's just an absolute home run got to track that down at some point and have to uh, find a way to get that in the collection there but not only do we have Britt Baker and the Aubrey Edwards guys we also have a look at Miro now I know that we had the leaked image of Miro but I would say that this looks way better than the image that we got you remember the the image that we covered in the video where it was like an unmatched figure was leaked and we covered it it was in the packaging and all that this figure looks way better in this photo you know the image is much more clear and one thing that I forgot to mention is my boy Magic okay he's actually a designer on the AEW Unrivaled team I commented on this photo and I said, you know, uh, kick pad rotation with like a sad face. A bunch of people liked it. And he actually came back and replied and said, you'll be happy to know this does in fact rotate at the top of the boot with the thumbs up emoji. So huge shout out to my man Magic because he is a designer and uh, it looks like this is going to have kick pad rotation. I was really, really bummed out because I thought it would not have kick pad rotation, but he says it does have it. Hopefully 
every figure moving forward is going to have that, so that will be something that we see, and hopefully that is the case. But the Miro figure here looks way better than the leaked out image. Uh, you know, the skin tone looks cleaner, the, the shorts look cleaner. I will say maybe the arms look a little bit long, but it's kind of hard, you know, with like different photos and trying to tell exactly how big figures are and stuff like that, but you know, I like it. I like the head sculpt, the true effects and stuff looks good. Sculpt looks good, and it'll be cool to see what Miro looks like up next to his other figures that we've gotten him of him in the past. So Unmatched Series 1, we do have Miro right there. And then we also have a look at Dustin, guys. We have Dustin Rhodes from Unmatched Series. This figure looks incredible. Like, the colors on this figure, the blue gloves on this figure. I know a lot of people aren't the biggest Dustin fan, but man, you gotta love this figure. Like, the blue on it looks great. The red on it looks great. It just, like, stands out, man. It kind of looks like fish scales. You got all the, the blue going on. The head sculpts look really good. And I can't remember if his, first, his Series 2 figure, I don't remember it being pissed off like that. Like, I remember the yelling face. But I don't remember him being, like, super pissed off like that. So I think that face is actually new, if I'm not mistaken, the yelling one. So that'll be really cool. And it's, like, more of a grumpy head sculpt. And I don't, I, again, it may be the same head sculpt, but it's painted really well. And they did a good job on it. So I, I like it. I think the figure looks good and everything like that. And that will be really cool to see once we finally get it. But the figure looks phenomenal there. And then the last thing that I think I wanted to show you guys is that playset. You guys remember the ringside exclusive, like, AEW pack, the weapons pack that we talked about a while back? We have, like like official images of it here and you guys will see that it does say AEW action pack 11 pieces unrivaled collection and I don't know the exact info on this just yet I don't think but on the back there you can see John Moxley suplexing Kenny Omega in there from full gear you got uh, all the contents of the package you get the steel chair with the barbed wire, you get the gold chain, you get the barbed wire bat, you get the barbed wire broom, and then you do get the thing that he suplexed him onto, which would be the little, you know, chain link fence type deal with the barbed wire stretched out across it. And then I think, I'm not sure if, you, I, I'm pretty sure it comes with like extra bundles of barbed wire, as well as maybe an extra one of these little pieces that you can attach stuff to. So you could use this for your stage sets, like off the stage, you know, when people like crash and burn off the stage or do something off the top of the stage or off a of big spot you could you know plan around that and you could get really creative with this AEW pack but seeing the official images you know we don't have to like guess anymore and be like oh what's this what's that uh it does look like they do have the individual wrapped barbed wire you know we covered this on the channel it does look like the chain is actually going to be heavy it's going to be movable it's not going to be rubber where it's you know not nice to pose around and stuff so that will also be fun but I am liking all the stuff we got man I think this looks pretty damn excellent uh you know the the AEW action figure pack with the weapons that should be really fun. Uh, all the figures that we got shown look really good. Again, I don't think they've unveiled the rest. You know, we don't see, you know, we don't know what the Cody looks like in the LJN. It's weird because we did see the Kenny Omega on display at FanFest, but we don't have an image like this where it's just straight over the top, good quality, clear image of the figure. So I don't know why they didn't do that. We have seen the render. We know what it's going to look like. We got that one through the glass. So that is one, but uh, I wanted to see what it would look like, you know, like this and everything like that. So I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of everything down in the comments section below. But I think that about does it for our AEW figure news. Another thing is yesterday they put up two different series with Braun Strowman as the pre-order. Like the new Basic series and the new Elite series uh, are both, you know, we knew he was coming. Like we've covered it multiple times on the channel, but it's just bad timing there. So uh, that's unfortunate, but... Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the Unmatched Series figures as well as the action pack with the weapons and stuff like that. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel and do not cross the line like uh, I just did. You know what I'm saying. You cross the line. I've been beaten, broken.